Welcome to Film My Run. Uh, my name's Stephen. I'm at the foot of Beachy Head or the climb up to Beachy Head. I've just finished doing a 12k run over the South Downs here. Um, but that's not the real reason I'm in Eastbourne. For that, we need to head to the Welkin Sports and Exercise Physiology Labs at Brighton University, based in Eastbourne, uh, where I'm going to do some testing. So let's go. minutes I have to get a blood sample taken I also have to breathe into an oxygen tube and I also have to drink what is it 500 mil, 250 mils yeah, 280 mils of some fluid that I've no idea what it is and now I've got to do this So I have to rate myself as well. Uh, I reckon, let's get into 12 now maybe. So 12 is somewhere between a fairly light and, what is it, fairly light and what? Somewhat hard, fairly light and somewhat hard. You'll notice if I speed up my cadence, so I let my legs go faster, watch how it goes up. 10.9, 11. And that's the speed of the treadmill, 11. So it's like the faster I move my legs, the higher the speed of the stride football. Right, last drink. So I've been going for about an hour and a quarter, hour and 20 minutes. Got another 15 minutes to go. One more drink. <laughs> This is Hallam who's carried out the testing today. What have you actually been doing with me? So basically we've been looking at um, the moderate intensity domain, so that's around the lactate threshold. Uh, that's basically where the point at which he will not increase lactate as he goes, so he will not fatigue as quickly. So if he stays at that same intensity, he should be able to go exercise for around two, three, four hours potentially. We've done an hour and a half uh, to see whether he's going to oxidise more carbohydrates or more fats, depending on whether he takes a carbohydrate solution or whether he takes a placebo as well. And we're also looking at blood glucose to see whether that actually maintains at the same level or in a placebo state, it might drop off and that's when you can start feeling weak within a race. Have you got any results now that you can see or do you have to do testing to like get the results? Um, yeah, so he, ca he can't give me any results because that'll, that'll give away whether I've had actual carbohydrate drink or just a placebo. Okay, that's it. So uh, testing at uh, Brighton University over and done with, but it's such an absolutely beautiful day. Um, I think I'm going to go for a little run on the on the downs. Okay, we've done the testing at Brighton Uni. Uh, I just couldn't resist on this lovely day uh, going out for a little bit of a run. So we're just going to start and uh, go up this path here and we're going to get to Beachy Head. So there's Eastbourne behind me. We're only one kilometre in. Head lighthouse below us. Wow, they're flying right on the edge of the cliff. Sometimes you forget how much of a just a sheer drop is just just there to my like six feet to my left. So here's an example of the coastal erosion that you get on the Seven Sisters Cliffs. 
This, less than a year ago, used to be the path up to the Bell 2 lighthouse there. And uh, very recently, all that fell into the sea. That is Berlin Gap. I thought I might stop for a coffee there or something. That would be 6k, so we'll have done a little more than I planned, but... Uh, so we've done 6k, I've got my coffee. Uh, so that's the Beachy Head Hotel there. And we're about a mile from uh, the foot of Beachy Head and the end of the run. And here we come down the hill into Eastbourne. If you've ever done the Beachy Head Marathon, this is where we finish. And that's the view right across Eastbourne and away to Hastings in the distance there. And there we are all done, 12k finished. I'm back where I started at the foot of these uh, steps here. And uh, that's me done for the day. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you uh, found the Welkin Sports Lab interesting um, and uh, my lovely, beautiful, sunshiny run over uh, the South Downs and Beachy Head. Take care till the next time. Bye bye.